We have new details tonight on what caused a massive train derailment near Williams, Arizona over the summer. Arizona's Family Investigates got a copy of the investigation from the Federal Railroad Administration. The report shows the engineer was not qualified to operate a train this size. Emma Lockhart's in studio now to help break down those findings. An engineer with a railroad union tells me the train derailment near Williams could have been much worse. He says this comes down to railroad companies cutting costs, and if they don't step up and properly train employees, more derailments are inevitable. This video shows the aftermath of the BNSF train derailment back in June near Williams. Nearly two dozen freight cars carrying vehicles went off the tracks. Fortunately, no one was injured. This is where we're at today in the industry, and they're wanting to cut costs and cut everything. Robert Scott Jones is with the Smart Unions Transportation Division. He's been sounding the alarm about railroad safety for years. And tonight, a report from the Federal Railroad Administration on the derailment near Williams highlights his concerns. Run it most efficiently as possible. and. And we can't do that without the proper training. The investigation found that the engineer operating the BNSF train did not use the brakes properly. And turns out the train was more than two times the size of what they were qualified to drive. Joan says this is a growing issue across the industry. Some railroads went from nine and ten weeks of training, initial training for an employee, down to three weeks. Jones says trains are now getting longer, making them more dangerous and difficult to operate. Without proper training, derailments are more likely. Taking us from what we are used to and trained to run as a 7,000 foot, uh, 6,500 ton train, um, which is very manageable to um, trying to save money and doubling the sizes. Three months before the derailment in Williams, Jones says the same train went off the tracks near Bullhead City. In both cases, he believes the crashes could have been catastrophic. Even though the railroads reported that there were no hazardous materials involved, that's a correct statement. But we are two to three cars, depending on which derailment you're talking about, of having repeating the incident that we witnessed uh, in East Palestine, Ohio. And we reached out to BNSF Railway about that report, but have not heard back, guys. Yeah, has there been any push, Emma, to do more to regulate the size of trains in Arizona to prevent those kind of derailments? Uh, Joan says he was trying to get legislation passed that would limit the train length, uh, but that bill stalled in the Arizona House. Jones is now pushing to get similar legislation passed next year.